All right, this is just going to be real quick here just to show the uh, the large internal frame Alice pack. I'm not really going to do a review on it. Alice packs or Alice packs. You can see it's got an adjustable harness spot here where the harness attaches to the frame so you can raise and lower it on your body. It's got uh, aluminum straps inside here that you can pull out. They're pretty heavy, thick aluminum. It's probably about an eighth of an inch. Um, internal strapping for the frame itself. And then on what would be your left shoulder side, you've got uh, two rather large packs. I've got a fold up cutting board in here. Down in here, I've just got some jute twine and parachute cord, a spare knife, my little Gerber profile. Then on the right shoulder side, you have one long pack which is also gusseted in the back so it's open so you could put a uh, see my hand coming through there you could put like your uh, machete down through the inside of that or a small axe the inside of it opens up just as large as the two smaller ones you see I've got my bow saw blade in there for making a saw out in the field I said it's pretty deep long enough to uh, my, my 12 gauge will actually fit down in there my, my Ballsberg 500A fits down in there with the handle just coming out the end. Um, the bottom of it has a zipper that goes into the bottom compartment. I've got a wool blanket stored in there for right now. And then on the inside, of course, you've got the drawstring to seal everything up. It has the internal inside flap pouch as they all do that goes down about halfway into the inside of it and then it goes down into the bottom I'm trying to get enough light here that you can see this there is a flap in the bottom that has this drawstring mechanism you can open this drawstring up to open the bottom of it up or you can pull it tight to keep it closed so that if you put clothes and other gear in here, it's separate from this bottom compartment so that you can take this out without disturbing this. It has plenty of points for uh, Alice strap, Alice clips to attach gear on the outside. Of course, it has cinch straps on the bottom here to hold the, uh, the bottom contents tight, plus attachment points to tie off another bedroll, that kind of thing. And it has the cinch straps for the top to clip the top to it uh, compression straps to hold everything down um, it's a fairly heavy bag I'd say it probably empty it probably weighs six seven pounds but it's uh when me and my wife went camping on a, a three-day weekend we went camping and everything with the exception of the tent that we used everything we carried was in this bag um, food clothing blankets uh, everything, I take that back, everything with the exception of the sleeping bag in the tent was in here for two people. So three days worth of gear for two people, including food, was all stored in here. Of course, it has the kidney belts with the uh, standard, you know, military issue strapping. Your uh, chest strap to pull it in on your chest. Get heavy padding, fully adjustable for, uh, you know, the, the low bearing everything on it's adjustable um, got extra straps here for attaching things so it's a it's a fairly nice pack um, I prefer the medium pack for for just one person but if you're going out for you know say four or five days this large Alice pack will hold everything you'd ever need um, versatile lots of compartmentalized storage plenty of attachment points so that's just it real quick I hope that helps you a little bit John I said it's about uh, it's probably closer I don't have a ruler with me but it's probably closer to about 20 inches wide and 34 inches tall well about 30 inches tall somewhere around in that neighborhood um, I'm a fairly decent size I'd say average frame but heavy guy it fits me perfect it's easy to carry even fully loaded down I had about 62 pounds of gear in it when me and my wife went out and it was no problem at all to carry it really distributes the weight evenly for you so i hope that helps you a little bit john um peace out